Okay, here we are on the Rocky River. Uh, I can just do uh, one stroke and then I have to switch sides. Nice. Yep, we switched paddles, so now I can paddle with this um, kayak paddle and keep up. Oh, you like it? Yeah, because like sitting down in those kayaks isn't fair. Oh, I know. Um, well, you know, I was having back issues when I designed it, and um, my back has healed. I don't have it, back issues today, but. Um, I'm glad that I made that chair because I can sit on that thing for three hours and have no problems. I can't do that with a kayak. Or a canoe. Yeah, canoe. Yeah, Tom Sawyer. Yep. Two names that pop into my head too. This right here is the Cleveland Rock Falls. Cool. It's funny to see your boat uh, turn like three degrees every stroke and mine like 20. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was hilarious. Uh, that was a good one. Yeah? Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. This is a neat little river here. There's an opening into Lake Erie. Here we are on a punt and a stand-up paddleboard on Lake Erie in Cleveland. First time punter, Jeff Evans. How do you like it so far? Breaking those waves like Yes, it is. Uh, two sheets. Uh, it's, I can't remember what it was, but it's it's. Uh, and did you do epoxy or paint? Um, no, I put another layer of plywood on top of it, and then uh, paint. There's that boat actually has no epoxy on it. Uh, it wasn't until I built my sailboat that I started putting epoxy on stuff. And um, remarkably, this thing has never taken on water uh, as far as like the floor, uh, even though my sailboat did take on water in the floor. But this one has not. 
And I think it's because the paint is breathable. As soon as you put epoxy on something, it's totally non-breathable. And if you get a pinhole, it just traps the water in. But this thing, every time I use it, I like let it sit out and it dries itself automatically because it's got a breathable paint on it. Gosh, you could almost go swimming here. Yeah, so this boat is made with no epoxy and no fiberglass. It's completely, all the glue is type on three and um, all the fillets are type on three plus uh, sawdust. And there is some paper uh, on the corners in certain places. And uh, I do have to paint it uh, every second time that I use it. It's from you paddling. Yeah, um, it just kind of starts to accumulate out over time. Yeah. Um, I, I don't have a baler. I didn't bring it, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. These houses over here are definitely way over here. Yeah, I bet. Throw these in the back. There. See what I like, even though like right now it's cold compared to when I have cattle boards out here, like when it's top here. Yeah, I bet. That's why I prefer to kneel. Um, uh, when I stand up on this board, it just goes in circles anyway, so. All right, here's Jeff uh, in the middle of Lake Erie. What are we, like 50, 50 miles out now? Something like that? No land in sight. Yeah, we're halfway to Canada, aren't we? Three hour tour, yeah. Okay, so we forgot to plug the holes and uh, the front of the punch is filling up through the, uh, the wheel axle holes. But as you can see, uh, no sinkage. And we're, yeah, we can overcome. So we're going to go and get the water out at the beach over here. Taking on water, B? Yeah. No. Less than a cup. 